Hi everyone, it's Jeremy here and we're continuing on from my previous videos where I'm talking you through all the steps to tackle your own plastering projects and why you shouldn't be scared. We talked about framing and then plasterboard types and sizes and since we're ready to fix our boards to our frame, let's talk about that sometimes overlooked discipline, plasterboard fixings. In terms of the type and length of screws, it's really something called a drywall screw you'd be looking at. And if you're using 12.5 millimeter plasterboard, you will want a 38 millimeter screw. Do not use the 32 millimeter screws. They are not long enough. Use 32 millimeter drywalls if you are using nine millimeter plasterboard, which I talked about earlier. In terms of the centres of the screws, generally I'll be going for about 200 millimetres, but I'll do it by eye, I won't sit and measure it. You can buy a box of uh, 1000 screws here um, and these work absolutely fine except if you're going to be doing it in a bathroom and then I'd probably go for a zinc or a stainless steel screw which is less likely over time to corrode even though these black ones are essentially water resistant over a long long period of time I would tend to go with a slightly more robust uh, metal. When you're fixing the screws make sure they're just a tiny tiny little bit below the surface if you do them flush or above the surface uh, you'll find that when you are applying your plaster your tool the metal will tend to scrape over the top of the screw which is bad for your health in terms of the, the scrapey noise and for your actual trowel because it will get scratched but we'll talk about plastering trowels in a later video in terms of a drill i have an impact driver which i use but a normal drill is absolutely fine as well to me it's more about the portability of them and how easy you can hold them or hang them on your belt while you're holding up a piece of plasterboard to drive the screws in you can of course buy a, a bespoke plasterboard drill gun which is something that just is like a bit of a, a machine gun for plasterboard but if you're not doing this as a profession, I, I know that you'll have some form of cordless drill in your uh, toolbox and that is more than adequate. In the next video, I'll look at how to deal with all those electrical and data sockets. So click on the link for that and let me know any questions in the comments below.